at an event held at the Women's Jail Museum at the iconic Constitution Hill. Capitec's CSI team held a crochet-a-thon aimed at encouraging volunteering and celebrating their employees who selflessly give their time to better our communities. Capitec and their staff again showed their support by crocheting blankets and encouraging fellow South Africans to make a difference. Welcome to the Capitec Crochethon. We are here at Constitution Hill in Gauteng. The aim of the day is to honor the Gauteng region. We have over 130 staff members from Limpopo, from the north, the east, the west. They have embraced the Hooked on Helping project as volunteers. And today we are thanking them for what they have done. This was an, an initiative uh, by one of our employees that spread to a lot of other employees that crochet within Capitec. As a business, we wanted to get involved in communities, but also we wanted to provide our employees an avenue to get involved within the communities that they live in, that we also work in. So this was a wonderful, wonderful opportunity, and not just to get involved, but to be part of those, because crocheting is a very unique activity, because people invest themselves, and when they say we give with love, that's exactly what crocheting does. Employees from across the country have pledged their time to hand make warm blankets as part of Capitec's Hooked on Helping initiative in partnership with 67 Blankets. The former prison was chosen as the venue for this occasion to highlight South Africa's cultural heritage. Celebrating in Constitution Hill is fantastic. It's outside, it's COVID friendly, it means people can get together to do what they do best, which is what 67 Blankets for Nelson Mandela Day is about. And Cappy Tech on board with this is fantastic. As you can see, everybody's sitting outside, knitting, crocheting. And part of what we do at 67 Blankets and what Cappy Tech is doing as well is about knitting lives together. It's about knitting our country together again. We are at the Constitution here, and this place signifies what women of South Africa have done for us to enjoy the freedom that we are enjoying today. But also it speaks about the freedom of expression. And for us is how our own people, our employees, can express themselves through volunteering and expressing through crocheting blankets. We are really encouraging our employees and creating this awareness that um, giving is good, not only for the receiver, but for the giver as well. I think it's very important for South Africans to honour our history and I think it's quite emotional being here at the women's jail, knitting and crocheting, because it makes us remember a journey that we've come on for the last few decades. It makes us remember what people went through and it's up to us to make changes and to make a difference and that's what all these people are doing here today. So it's quite a healing process maybe for some people to be here and maybe it's the first time that people have been here and have been able to experience this part of our history. This living museum tells the story of South Africa's journey to democracy. Guest speaker Mohauta Mulefe was one of those imprisoned at the women's jail. Where I'm standing now is a privilege because what happens is that when we were in there, we never saw the whole prison. We were confined to your cell only when you go out, maybe when they take you to John Foster and when you go for exercising. I only saw this place now. I never wanted to come here because it had such memories. But now because I'm coming often, I'm feeling better. And especially when I bring people to come and see where we passed, because we passed here for this country to be where it is today. I started crocheting last year and the reason for that was because I had just had a miscarriage. It took a huge toll on my life because it wasn't the first miscarriage that I got. So I started crocheting for therapy. As I started teaching the team members in my area, for them, they were able to use their time to touch other people's lives, putting their time out there, volunteering to sacrifice so that they can help someone keep them warm in winter with a blanket. Providing the entertainment on Marimba were the Outreach Foundation band from nearby Hillbrow. Due to the support this organization provides to the community, Capitec chose to give blankets to the foundation on the day. The Outreach Foundation is in the heart of Hillbrow. 
We work with vulnerable communities, migrant communities. We're also working in schools in the inner city of Johannesburg, doing a learner support program and a life skills program. So the blankets will go out into these communities and we're going into winter. So I think people will be warm and will be held by these blankets. The marimba, the music program, has been right at the beginning of the foundation. But it's not only about creating artists, it's about extracurricular activity for young children, youth, to explore what it is to be part of a team, to be part of a program that gives them confidence, gives them skills, gives them a sense of self-worth, which has been so important over the last year during COVID-19. To our clients out there, when they go to our branches, especially from autumn going into winter, we'd have those boxes in the branches, go and donate wool. It's a good way to give, because there's a lot of people that are out there during winter that are cold that need those blankets and the woolies that we create. So to our clients, please, I urge you to donate the wool. The whole point of today is to really challenge everyone to say you've got power within you. It starts with an individual. Any person can really make a change that will change the course of this country. And you have the power. If it's not the resources, it's the time that you can use to better the life of the next person. You can contribute toward making beautiful blankets that will keep someone warm this winter. Join the Hooked on Helping family by donating wool the next time you visit a Capitec branch. Balls of wool, knitted squares or blankets can be left in the boxes placed in each branch. All contributions will be allocated to the Hooked on Helping volunteers and 67 blankets who have for this year embarked on crocheting blankets for vulnerable children and abused women. Hashtag Capitec Live Better.